Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Today is 30 and 30 and it is a 30 and 30 lipsticks. I am so excited to talk about some of these lipsticks. I'm also really excited to get rid of some of these because in my trials these past 30 days, I discovered some ones that I didn't really like that much. And I have to say this is 30 and 31 days because I had a tooth pulled this guy back here during the like my go through of all of these and I didn't wear lipstick on the day I got my tooth pulled I didn't wear makeup at all I just went to the dentist came home and slept so yeah it did take me today is 31 as I am filming this all right first up we have a SNARS soft what is this called power matte lip pigment in the shade American woman I do not like the applicator on this. I find it kind of small and wonky. Like it's so, it's such a small doe foot, but I really love this color. I've had others in this formula that I decluttered. I wasn't super excited about. And this one, I was like, oh, another one from them. I don't want it. But then I put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, I really like this shade. I think it's really pretty. Um, and the formula is actually pretty nice. It's similar in Ho to Huda in that it is super liquidy. It's not like a very, it's going to take some time to put on. You have to be very precise in your application in that way because it does have, it is very thin, a very thin formula. And I'll kind of show you again here in a minute how it dries down. Next up is Illamasqua. This is the shade Cosmic. This is the anti-matter lipstick. I think that's the funniest name. And I love this shade again. This is another super good one. I felt like this was a nice formula. It felt really nice on the lips and it lasted fairly well. <clears throat> it is a traditional lipstick. So kind of what you would expect for um, a bullet lipstick. Next is Belle and Argent, and this is the shade Click Your Heels. It does not say Click Your Heels anywhere on this lipstick, though. I just have to remember what it's called. Luckily, it's the only one I have. This is a red shade. I said I wasn't going to open any more red shades, but I did for this one because of its name. And I wore it, actually, um, for the Super Bowl because I am a Chiefs fan and... You gotta have a red shade for that uh for those chiefs um let's see nice color lasts all right nothing special about the formula i didn't feel like it was overly um good like not worth the extra money that i know it costs bare minerals this is the gen nude lip color in the shade friendship I love this formula. I have several of them in this formula. They smell so good. It smells kind of like chocolate, which is great. This is, I don't know, did I say it's the shade Friendship? It is the shade Friendship. It's a really nice formula. It's moussey, it's not going to be drying. It is not going to dry down though, and it's going to not be as long lasting as a traditional liquid lipstick because it doesn't dry down. So do keep that in mind as you're kind of thinking about these. Next up is from Pure. This is the shade Timeless. This was their collaboration with Barbie. I think you probably can still get these because I've seen them quite a few places. Timeless is this shade. Yes, Timeless. And it is like the perfect nude shade. It looks super glittery on the outside. I don't know if you can see like there's glitter on the outside but the lipstick itself is not glittery at all. It is a nice matte, nice thick lipstick. It's going to have a better lasting power than those other ones that I talked about. Well, better than the Bell and Argent. It's going to have more of a staying power because that it does have that thicker consistency. Let's see, did I say anything else? It feels really fancy. That was my other note. It feels really fancy and nice. <clears throat> Ofra, this is their long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Laguna Beach. Oh my gosh. I love this color. I love this formula. It's like a match made in heaven. It is such a good shade. It kind of reminds me of Steppin' Out from Smashbox. No, Babe Alert, not Steppin' Out, Babe Alert. 
which is like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. This one is so good. I can see myself definitely using up this little bitty sample and needing to buy a full size of it. That's how much I really enjoyed it. All right, next we have Lipstick Queen. This is the shade Manic Mauve or Mauve. And it's kind of cool. It's like a marbled effect in the tube. And it kind of shows up that way just a little bit right here. I thought the formula was okay and it well reapplies well because a lot of these you do have to reapply throughout the day. I just don't like the color on me at all. So I am going to pass this lipstick along to a friend, maybe somebody who likes that shade a little bit more than me because it just, it wasn't the right color for me. Then we have Bite Beauty, Bite of ATL. This is just before they reformulated their formula. I have not tried their new formula. This was on clearance at Sephora and I needed just a couple more dollars. So I threw this one in. It smells super good. They have the best smelling lipsticks. It does say have the little B up there and then it says Atlanta inside too. I thought I would show you that. It is a really nice color as well. I like this formula. It doesn't last super long. The one thing that I find with it though, it does have beeswax in it. So you do well, at least for me, I can't wear it every day. It's a once in a while kind of formula because I am allergic to beeswax. And if I'm wearing it continuously, my lips will dry out and start cracking and pleating. So it's like I wear it once and then maybe a week later I can wear it again, but it's definitely not an everyday formula for me. Then we have Lisa Eldridge, the gorgeousness that is Lisa Eldridge. This is the shade Rainbow Sp Spill. I don't know if you can pick up all, like it's such a beautiful um, lipstick and it has like a texture to it, which is gorgeous. I love these lipsticks so much. They are very intense though. So you definitely need to do a lighter eye with it. And it's one that you're probably gonna wanna blot because it just is so, in your face when you put it on. It is gorgeous. I love this shade. Um, and it lasted really well. But yeah, definitely something that you wanna blot, which I'm not used to blotting my lipsticks. Like that is not something that I am in the habit of doing whatsoever. All right, Charlotte Tilbury, amazing Amal. I said I love the color and the formula. I just have the itty bitty one for this one. They are pretty fragile in there. You can, I don't know if you can tell that I've nicked this one, taking it in and out just because of how um, delicate the formula is. So I'm swatching it very lightly and I built it up so that you could get an idea of the color. But yes, love it. Definitely considering getting some full size of the hot lips. I think that's what they're called, the hot lips. From Charlotte Tilbury. I just really like the ones that I've tried. You can also kind of see those liquid lipsticks, how they've dried down. So that's what the NARS dries down to. That's what the Friendship dried down to. And it, I put, that's a bit patchy. And I think it's because of how I swatched it. It's a little bit harder because of how big the doe foot is and it's very malleable. So it's a little harder. And then that's what Laguna Beach dried down to. It's so pretty. All right, next up is from Pat McGrath. This is the shade Realness. This is a Luxe Trance lipstick. This is what I got on Cyber Monday for $10 because these normally are like $40 a piece, which nope, 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 nope. nope. This is a pretty good formula. It feels really like light, but it wear it looks better the more you wear it. So like once it was worn in a little bit, it looked better than when I first applied it in from the tube on my lips. I was like, "Ooh, I don't like this at all." And then throughout the day I was like, "Oh, this doesn't look too bad. What was I thinking earlier?" Realized it's cuz it wore in a little bit and then it looked a lot better. All right, next up we have from Ofra. This is the shade Sanibel. It's a long lasting liquid lipstick. Again, I love this formula. 
I think it is a super good formula. I don't like this color. It's just a little bit more brown than that realness. And so I'm going to pass this one along as well. Not because the formula isn't good. It's a really good formula. I just don't really like the color. All right. Crush from Anastasia Beverly Hills or ABH. This one I put down was a really dry formula. It was drying on the lips. And the color's pretty nice. It's different than a lot of other shades that I have. So I'm gonna keep it, but it's not one I would probably recommend or repurchase just because it's not the best of the liquid lipstick formulas. All right, another Pat McGrath. This is another one. Oh my gosh, I somehow nicked it. Look at, oh, that just makes me sick. How did that happen? All right, this is another one that I got on Cyber Monday. And I, actually that crush is kind of similar, huh? This is a really pretty color. I really liked it. I felt, found it transferred quite easily though. So if you wanna have it on all of your cups and things, it's going to do that. But it is a lovely, I really liked the Lux Trance. I like the matte trance that I've tried as well, but I've only tried the babies of those. Then we have a ColourPop. This is the Luxe Liquid Lipstick, the Disney collection, and this is the shade Prince Edward. This formula is so unlike anything else that I have in my collection. It's very moussey, it's very light. It packs kind of a punch once you build it up because you do have to work. It's not like one swipe and done. It's you, you very carefully build it up but it doesn't feel super drying on the lips. It doesn't dry like super down, so it is gonna you know, wear off fairly easily, but I really, really like the formula and I would buy some others because I have like the eight ones from the Disney collection, but I would probably buy some other ones down the road. All right, NYX Soft Matte Lip Creme in, or Cream in Milan. I don't get this formula, like it, is so thin and it's so hard to get out on this doe foot like I keep thinking is are they dried out like what's going on that one went on a little better than they usually do but I just struggle with them I like the formula once it's on but the application process is not fun for me at all that's what Milan looks like it doesn't really look like the tube to me I feel like it is a much brighter shade <laughs> Than what I was expecting when I picked this one up in the grocery, or not the grocery store, in the Ulta's. Yeah, I think I bought it in Ulta. It's pretty good. Let me double check my notes really fast. Fairly nice, solid formula, all right color. That's what I put. All right, I loved this one. This is Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick. Oh my gosh, this is the shade Soul Rose. I got this as an add-on with my Ipsy. I'm kind of hoping that I don't get it in my Ipsy Ultimate when I get my replacement because they said it won't be the same items that we had picked for you. Anyway, I love this color. It's really bright, not like super bright, but it is really pretty. I felt like it really felt good. It will move around and kind of leak out. So I think it's one that when I wear it again, I will try to wear it with a lip liner just because of how malleable the formula is. All right, this is another one I got in a recent box. This is Queen in the shade Wifey, which is kind of like, I don't know, this is a brand I had never heard of before I got it in my BoxyCharm. It um, said, I said it felt a bit tacky, nice color, reapplies well, but like when you it's going to feel like a little sticky on the lips, which is not something I normally enjoy. But I don't think it's I don't think it's a terrible formula. Would I buy other shades in it? Most likely not. Will I use it? Yes, I think I will. Lorac, this is the shade Cat Lady, which cracks me up like what an awful name. I said it goes on smoothly, doesn't really last. The color is just all right. I think I'm actually going to pass this one along because I'm looking at my, I'm looking at the shade here. I'm looking at my notes and I'm like, why am I keeping this? Like, obviously this is not something that I was really excited about or even really kind of liked. 
So yeah, I'm going to declutter that one as well. This one I love. This is JK Magic by Charlotte Tilbury. This is one that I definitely do want to get a full size in because of how gorgeous the packaging is. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, Harry Potter and I have the same birthday, not the same year. Um, but my birthday is the same day as JK Rowling and Harry Potter. So I, I love that part of it. This is what it looks like. The color is really pale and I'm not the biggest fan of the shade, but when you have like a really bright or dark eye look, this is like the perfect shade to wear with that, which is why I am going to keep it and probably like beyond the fact that I love JK Rowling and I want the full size of it. I really like the formula, um, but yeah, definitely need a darker, you know, eye look to make it work. Now you can kind of see how this one hasn't really dried down completely yet. That's the ColourPop and it's not going to. That's kind of what it's going to look like. You can see what the ABH looks like here. And then over here is the Queen formula. You can see how it dried down as well. All right. I don't know if you can see, but the ColourPop left a little bit of a stain behind on my hand. So just be aware of that. All right, next up is Becca. This is the Lipstick Love in the shade Orchid. I also have Sorbet. I loved Sorbet so much that I bought some of the minis during the holiday season. That is what Orchid looks like. I think it's a really pretty color. Not as good as Orchid, I mean as Sorbet, but I still think it's a nice color. Um, I really like the formula. It it's not a long lasting formula. It's one that you definitely def do need to reapply several times throughout the day. But yes, I really love it. All right, another of the Lux Liquid Lipsticks from ColourPop. This is the shade Prince Philip. This one is just so bright and just oh, lovely. I really, really like this one. This might, of the brighter ones, because there's like the nudie ones, and there's like the super dark ones, and then the bright ones. I think this is my favorite of the bright ones. Just makes me super happy. Actually, it's almost the same shade as my eyes today. I am wearing ColourPop palette today too, so. All right, next up is Kat Von D Muse, and this is more of a um, kind of a shimmer formula. This is an okay lipstick okay color actually you know what i'm going i'm going to declutter this one too i wasn't planning to declutter this one this wasn't supposed to be a declutter but i'm kind of looking at all my lipsticks and i'm like why am i keeping some of these because i don't love them like they don't make me super excited like the prince philip and i don't see myself reaching for that one again so i'm i'm going to declutter that one and i'm decluttering this one too this is hourglass in the shade futurist i don't know what, what are these called I don't know what they're called. Um, <laughs> this, it says made in Canada, Canada assembled in USA. That's all I know. I'm not crazy about the formula of this. I said last all right, not, not a great lipstick and I don't like the color. So why sh I'm going to pass it along to somebody else. I know probably will enjoy it more. I don't like the way that it's created because it's, you know, easy to catch on and I've gotten lipstick kind of around it too and don't like that aspect. All right, we have another Ofra. This is the long lasting liquid lipstick in Monaco, but this is a shimmer or a metallic shade. I did wear this to work and it worked pretty all right. It's not like a super metallic formula once it dries down. And I felt like the shade was a good one that I could wear it to work and it wasn't going to be overly um, distracting or anything like that. Let's see, what did I put about it? All right color, not too shiny, like the formula last well. So yeah, there's that one. This one I am decluttering. This is Mana Qatar. This is a lip whip in the shade Faith. Got this in my January BoxyCharm. The color is fairly nice. Um, it smells chemically. I don't like the scent of it. It wears off weird, like it wore off weird. And then I felt like when I was putting it on, like I was struggling to reapply it and make it look all right. 
Um, so those reasons were why I just, I don't want to keep it. Um, it kind of reminded me of the Bella Pierre formula, which I wasn't a big fan of either. So that one is getting passed along. This one, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this one. This is um, Burberry Nude Rose. Lovely color, love the formula. It, oh, it's a sh more sheer lipstick. That is it, like swatched a few times. It is buildable, but the formula is so nice. Like this is super luxury and it's like worth it. And I love that they do the embossing on the lipstick itself the little Burberry pat, uh, pattern. So this one is another one that I would like to get on a full size someday. All right, Milani, this is the Amore Matte Lip Creams in the shade Love, which is shade 12. I just got this recently. It was like 12 or $2 on clearance at my grocery store. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up, see what it's like. Um, I said, it's a good formula. It doesn't last well. Like I ate a sandwich. Not like a greasy sandwich, just like regular sandwich, and it was gone, completely gone, which doesn't usually happen. And um, but it reapplied really well. Like I had a little bit around the edges, and it reapplied and melted in well, which is something that I definitely do look for in lipsticks. All right, Mac Privacy, please. This is a matte lip mousse, and it was with Pack. I don't know somebody. This is the weirdest formula. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. I've never, I have not tried any other MAC lip mousses. I'm going to kind of try to build it up. It's similar to the ColourPop, except it doesn't work as well as the ColourPop. Like, I don't know, like there it is. So you can actually see like the color, but it's really patchy and gloopy. It doesn't go on smoothly like the ColourPop Lip Lux Lips. I'm not crazy about this formula. I love the packaging though, so I'm gonna keep it for the packaging. It is beautiful. It was one of their collaborations. I love that it's kind of like the frosted plastic down below. The color is really pretty. I'm gonna play with it, see if I can find something better with it, but wouldn't recommend to get it. And I wouldn't buy another one either for sure. Last one. This is Appeal Cosmetics. This is the shade Muse. It is what I am wearing on my lips today. And this went on and I was like, oh, this is very nice. Now I haven't eaten in this one, so I'm not quite sure how well it's going to go when I start eating. Like I ate a cookie, but that was, I broke it into pieces as I was eating it. But that is the shade right there. I think it is a really pretty shade. I can see myself wearing this to work. I can see myself wearing this like for fun too because it's just kind of one of those colors that has range, which is nice to have in a lipstick. All right, I'm, the, the color or the Ofra has dried down the Monaco. That's what it looks like. As you can see, it's not nearly as shiny as it was when I first applied it. This one is not going to dry down. This one is not going to dry down either. So that's kind of what they look like all together. Have you tried any of these formulas, any of these shades? What is your favorite lipstick? Like, I want to know what your favorite lipstick formula is. What is your favorite shade of lipstick? What is your favorite, like, just lipstick of all time as well? I am really interested to know that because I love lipsticks as evidenced by my huge collection videos that I'm still haven't finished getting up. So I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.